Being with nature is an experience you cannot miss, a moment worth capturing. It's a once-in-a-lifetime encounter to photograph raw scenes of various species inside their habitat or ecosystem. As a nature and wildlife photographer who photographed these animals and landscapes, accuracy and mobility is what I really need in the field. Hi, I'm Edwin Martinez. I'm a nature and landscape photographer, and we're here in Infanta Quezon photographing various species and testing out the new Canon EOS R7. So the new Canon EOS R7 has a lot of similarity with the R3. The focusing system is one of the things that was patterned after it. And the animal IAF for my kind of photography is really, really magnificent. Uh, it's fast, it's accurate, it even captures the animal even before I see it in the viewfinder. Okay, one of the most difficult part in avian photography is photographing mixed flocks or small birds like flycatchers, flower peckers, not only because of their size but they're quite elusive. They jump from one branch to another. The Canon EOS R7 captured every movement. Okay? Um, the pre-focus, if it's enabled, you would see that it follows it even before you half press the shutter. Um, there's two shots that I, I'm really amazed. Okay? So the first shot was with a buzzing flower pecker. I, I, I shot it with the horizontal lines of the branches. It captured it perfectly. And another one is a Rufus Paradise Flycatcher, about 400 meters. And there was a lot of foliage around it and it focused immediately. Okay, So I think the R7 strength is the autofocus system. So it is critical in avian photography that the FPS or the frames per second is really fast. Okay, so you have like 20 frames per second for the R5 and the R6. The R7 is the same as the R3. It has the 30 frames per second for the electronic shutter. And that's very important for me. Especially I shoot a lot of handheld. With that, I can choose the right moment. If the bird turns towards you, if the bird turns to the left, open its beak, so or it's flying, 30 FPS is really amazing. What I like about the R7 is the weight, partnered with the 100 to 400, for example, the RF 100 to 400. It's so lightweight. When photographing birds, I like to shoot handheld. Why? Because it adds mobility in my part. When you're inside the forest and slow light, you not only rely on the weight, okay, but also the image stabilization of the camera. So I have one shot of the spotted wood kingfisher. I shot it with an 800 millimeter RF 800 millimeter f11 with a 1.4 extender, okay, and that's about with a 1.6 crop factor. That's about 1,120 millimeter. And the spotted wood kingfisher with a 30 fps, I was able to get really sharp shots, more than half of the 30 frames that I was able to capture. So the image stabilization really works not only with the ibis, the in body but also with the lens, and that's what I like about it. I've tested the R7 with a lot of lenses. So the first was the RF 100 to 400. Everything was fast, the focusing, the image stabilization works. I even put a 1.4 extender. And another thing is the kit lens that comes with it, the 18-150. It's so handy. Um, I was able to shoot a lot of landscapes telephoto landscape using the 18 and 150. I was able to photograph a sea of clouds. The reach of 150 times 1.6 crop factor is enough for me to zoom in on the mountains with the rolling fogs. So if you're starting in wildlife photography and wants to get serious with it, I think the Canon, no, I don't think, but I really recommend that you get the new Canon EOS R7. Not only because it's 32 megapixel, it has a crop ratio of 1.6, so any lens that you add into it, that's 1.6 crop factor, 
the image stabilization and the AF are outstanding. Again, this is Edwin Martinez, nature and landscape photographer. Instinct takes us closer with the new Canon EOS R7. Canon, delighting you always.